Alright, here's another fridge debrief. Uh, so, for practice today, a uh, couple couple things to talk through. Uh, so first, we had our practice starts. I've sunk another buoy. Uh, practice starts, here's our, here's our line, we got our wind, and uh, one, uh, one, I guess, let's go two big things that we can think about. Uh, first is we do want to make sure that we are staying close, uh, and staying close to the line means that we need to know how to make our boat go slowly. Right? We don't want to end up being here at 30 seconds, which is a good spot to be, but if we're moving full speed and we just run down the line, then at like 5 seconds we're right here. And that's not a good deal because then we have to choose either not crossing a line or tacking back onto port and there's probably a bunch of other starboard tack boats uh, ready to not let us do that. Right? So if, we're, if we've put ourselves into some sort of position where we're around here about 30 seconds, which in general is good, uh, but it's what we do with it in the next 30 seconds that counts. Right? So we don't want to keep going full speed. We need to make sure that we're able to have our, our boat up above close hauled so we can kind of luff along and uh, be slow until right before that start when we can start moving again. All right, so we want to make sure that we don't actually come in like right here at the buoy. We want to be maybe a little bit lower, right? We have talked before about we don't want to be very far downwind. We don't want to be way down here off the screen because then we have to sail upwind forever just to get back to the line. But we also don't want to be right here at the buoy because if we want to head up, uh, and slow our boat down, it doesn't allow us to, right? We go straight across the line. So we actually want to be setting up maybe like a boat length below the line, a boat length or half a boat length low, right? So we're talking this far or this far, that's like 8 to 10 feet, 12 feet, something like that, if we're, if we're actually out on the water, right? So setting up right around here, that way we can be slowly luffing along, and we're not actually going to run out of we're, we're not going to run out of space because we're slowing ourselves down, but we're also not going to go across the line because we've left ourselves that little, uh, that little room to maneuver, right? So we're not coming in right here where our only option is to keep running down the line because if we head up at all, we're going across the line, setting up a little bit lower. Uh, the other thing with that is we do want to think about uh, where are we in relation to the line. So if I'm below the line and I want to turn around, Maybe I am over here and I realize that I've got to get back to the right. Uh, I'm going to want to turn toward the line you, almost all the time, right? So if I'm down below the line, I don't want to jibe because that makes me go further away. And if I had a little bit of upwind distance to sail, now I have even more upwind distance to sail. So instead, when I'm turning around, I'll go ahead and tack. And now I'm closer. It's very simple for me to go lower if I want to, but I'm up here, right? So I don't jibe if I'm below the line, I tack. Same thing up here, if I'm way up here and I want to get back down, probably I don't want to tack, that takes me a while, I'll just jive and now I'm closer to the line, closer to getting back to where I want to be. Um, Alright, one last real quick thing, when we go to tack our boat, we want to make sure we have speed. So we see sometimes people are trying to come up to this buoy, right, and they're not quite making it, they're trying to point higher and point higher and point higher to get to the buoy, and then their boat is stopped, and then they realize, oh, I do have to tack. Uh, but they can't because their boat isn't moving and so they do have to do a bunch of kicks with the tiller to just get the boat to tack and then slowly start moving. But we know that our tiller, our rudder in the water, it will be able to turn us if we have water moving over the rudder. So we want to get our boat moving in a straight line and then put the tiller over to the side and that will allow us to tack. 